night. I just got invited to go to a trail that's up in Leeds. So I just gotta get some gas and then meet up with them. So let's go check out this trail. Just met up with these guys. We got a Ford F-150. We got a Toyota 4Runner. And me. And we're gonna go meet up with a couple people. say setting up the wheels and tires I haven't aired down or anything but adjusting the settings of those um, by removing the adapters and the offsets man this is this ride is so much better even without airing down it's impressive looks like we got a little bit of a traffic jam here I think some dirt bikers or something are loading or unloading. Good to go. I'll tell you what, it is a windy day today. Dust is everywhere. Just absolutely beautiful. Check out this area. This is rad. This is cool. Oh yeah, let's do it. Dude. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Dude, this is so beautiful. We're gonna see if we can cross possibly right over there. Definitely gets water all the way up here though. Holy crap, flash flood time. Oh yeah, you can probably cross right there on those rocks down there. Right over there. Yeah. Cursed the wind right now, but it's still beautiful. So Weston, you did how many rocks? You threw 500? No, 300. 300, 300 rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and you made one? I made one. Yeah. Alright, Weston's showing us this uh, abandoned house here. Alright, check this, check this out. So you can probably hear it in the video, but it is extremely windy out. But I gotta say, these rocks are beautiful. Let's see if I can get you so you can see it. 
There we go. These rocks are absolutely beautiful. And whoever was building that house, man, too bad you, you stopped. Because <laughs> that would be it. This would be a perfect place to live. I would love living in this place. But yeah, no drone footage today. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the footage. I think we're going to be crossing this river. Why? Because we can. And um, just seeing what's on the other side, exploring a little bit. So let's do this. You know, it's like he caught a fish like this big, but then tells him it was like this big, you know? pretty rocky so there's all the guys who wanted to go out to uh, Boulder or not Boulder Colorado City um, I didn't want to drive an hour to get to a trail so I'm just gonna do a little exploring here local in Tokerville and see how things go. leads out anywhere might have to go back we're gonna go for it I mean I'm only thinking of the way out like if there's not a place over there just coming back through it. I mean, shoot, what's the worst that can happen? I gotta get somebody to come pull me out. <laughs> oh, that was extremely steep. If I hit my skid plate, goodness. That, ladies and gents, is why you have armor. And to think I almost didn't go on an adventure today. Well, this is a really cool spot, but not happening. Yeah, look at that. Wouldn't be coming back from that. Got a little washed out, huh? I mean, you might be able to kind of like skirt over there and drop in maybe, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's as far as it goes. <laughs> We're just gonna walk up and down this beach for a second and to see if there's a way. I have a feeling these are the times when people get really stuck and they have to call an off-road recovery company. <laughs> Might have something here, possibly. Oh, now that's rad. You can really see it very well. That looks cool. Man, there's so many neat things here. Look at that difference in rock. That looks crazy. I don't know if the camera will do it justice by any means, but that looks insane. And that is really cool. I mean, I do have a snorkel, right? <laughs> Looks like if you can get right here, 
because that's basically all rock right in front of us. We're parked right up over there. That's like all rock. I mean, you could get across that. The question is, though, again, coming back is the difficult part if I can't get turned around back over there. Just coming back up this would be pretty dang difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up on Gaia because it shows that this doesn't even come over here. But there is a trail right back over there somewhere. I'm going to see how close we are because if we're really close and Gaia says there's a trail right there, then why not? You know what I mean? All right, well, upon further inspection, looks like distance-wise, this is the last water crossing we would have, and looks like it's basically the last real quote-unquote difficult part, but if you can see over there, there's a fence. See those posts right over there? There's a fence that goes all the way over there, and that's actually like building like subdivisions and stuff and you can even see whatever that pier thing gravel pit I don't know whatever that is over there so I don't think we can go any further we're gonna go back out the way we came as best we can <clears throat> and then I mean we have to get go back out that way um, but we'll go back out there and then I'm gonna drive around to over here and see if I can come in this back way to get here Now we'll just get to that other water crossing. This is a pretty neat area though. And this is in people's backyards. There's actually a neighborhood that's like right up over there, right up on top of these cliffs. And I mean, this is their backyard. This is what they get to look into. This is really, really cool. Okay, so now we are back at this first water crossing. Definitely spinning out on that. Okay, so let's see where we were, where we need to go. Oh, I didn't even have a VTM4 on or first gear. <laughs> so now let's give that a shot. Oh yeah, no big deal. <laughs> kind of helps to put it in four wheel drive. <laughs> So I definitely came a different way on the way back, which I wasn't really, I don't care too much because it all ends up on a road somewhere. Well, this is a little embankment, pretty off camber there. I don't know if we're going to make that. Ooh, yeah, how about we don't? Or maybe we do, but come up from the bottom over there. Um, I think I have to. Hmm, that's gonna be fun. Let's try going this way, shall we? Yeah, there's no way that is. That is extremely steep. Okay, now let's see. Where do I need to go? See them stuck on this piece right here. Pretty steep. Scraping edge. Oh yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad.
that's uh, pretty torn up there. Looks like on the hill up ahead there might be some little bit of technicalities, which would be pretty fun to do, I think. This looks amazing. Just look at that view. TM4 on. Yeah, this thing, you gotta get up on step for this thing to really be killer in the sand. Of course, I'm not aired down either, so that doesn't help. But just look how deep that is. Goodness. Let's go! traveled often. Okay. Yeah, Baja style going on here. Whoa. Suspension is working amazing. Look at that, here we are. Okay, now we can actually go figure out if that other trail ties in. Well, what turned out to be a hopefully not aggressive and what turned out to hopefully be an easy trip turned out to this. All these lights just came on. Maybe, maybe my air filter is clogged. 
but it's not shifting well. It's, it's not good. This is not good. There was tons of sand on that filter, that cloth that I have on there. Oh yeah, there we go. Just wasn't getting there. So I gotta remember to turn that thing around when I go. But the wind kicking up all that sand and dust, I mean, this is the thing. You might be like, oh, well that's overkill putting it on there. It's not letting your truck breathe. At the same time though, like if all that crap was getting into my snorkel and getting into the air filter, like, that's even worse, you know? So to me, I just think to myself, it's worth having on there because it'll flash at you when it's not getting enough air and then you just dust it out and keep going, you know? But that's also probably why I didn't have as much power as I could have. Uh, I didn't even think about that, but because uh, everything's shifting well, everything's running well, has way more power than it did. So I'm thinking that it was just really clogged. I mean, there was a lot of sand on there. Um, it all blew away when I opened it up, otherwise I would have showed you. But um, I think it's running real, real nice again. So we're gonna go to that other side, hopefully find how to get to the, that river. Yeah, check that out, right right over there. Let me zoom in. That little thing right, where's my finger? There it is. Right at the top of my finger right there. That's that little pier that we saw. So it is a good thing I turned around. Well, I suppose that is it, ladies and gents, the renegade family. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Good spot to have a little day trip, maybe a little camp area, and then turn around because uh, there's no way to get out of there except the, the other way that I came. Um, yeah, please like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys' support. It's been fun filming and exploring and doing these things, so let's continue. We'll see you.